Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. Look at our cool steampunk girl. Isn't she awesome? I loved making this piece. Now she does sit in there really nicely now. The page can almost completely close. So um, I was really able to fit her in there perfectly. Look at the background on this. You know, between using the texture paste and the spray stains, a little bit of uh, alcohol ink and the gold to kind of give it that final glimmer. Also kind of um, used it to tone down some of that silver that was on there. Guys, this is a really cool project and uh, Patreon exclusive. Uh, it'll probably be two videos, one for the background and one for creating the little doodlebob. I love her. I think she's awesome. Our little steampunk girl. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. Love you guys, and we will chat soon. Okay, well, we are getting towards the end of the book, and I was contemplating whether to you know, try to get one more uh, page in here or not. Um, but I think this is going to be the last layout in this book. So I'm still working through all of this which isn't surprising because you know that's just kind of how I do it. I, I like to, um, well, if you're pushing the boundaries, there's really not an, a prior idea to come up with. You know, I've just got to figure out how I want to make it. Uh, okay, so this is like, this, this is four pages. And then I think I just actually put two, four pages together. So then I've got like eight pages glued together for this. Very, very strong right there. And then I made my little person, a little girl with her fancy earrings. If I can get her to come in lay down so she's gonna sit in here like this so we are going to make her a place to live yes and that might get glued down to there I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna happen yet um, so I think if I have an inch on each side, this is probably, this is over an inch. Yeah, I need this. So I need like a three quarters of an inch strip here and here. And then really the inside cut away. So I think that's how I'm actually gonna glue this. now. I did glue some pages to the back here. And, you know, this book had been totally prepped. So most of these pages, I've been glued two or three pages together. And then um, also all the pages have been removed out of the signatures. So, you know, I prepped this whole book before we started on this. This might get glued down also. I'm just not positive what's going to happen with that yet. So, I'm doing a strip here and a strip there. And then we're going to push it down. That did not stick down at all. So I've got the fan going, I've got the air conditioner going, so um, it is hard for the Mod Podge to stay wet enough to do this properly. So 
So I'm just going to go through and continue on with my gluing. I will uh, definitely put some sort of pressure on it to let it dry. Uh, maybe I'll set it outside since it's windy and 100 degrees out. I'm going to keep going. All right, so what do I have here? I have a whole lot of pieces and parts. A whole lot of them. Um, and I'm just kind of playing around to see what I can do with them. To see if I can make something cool. Always want to try to make something cool. I have this girl. I'm going to cut her out real fast. Kind of has that feeling. Or I could do uh, something like this. This is a probably too tall. That one's shorter.
I did clamp these and let them dry, and uh, as you know, the centers shouldn't be glued together as much. Just grab out our utility knife and see what we can do here. I do want this kind of jaggedy, and I want her to have a great little home here. So we're gonna try, um, this one will be about right, there. And there. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more. Um, let's, let's be smart about it, I guess. Let's bring it out to what, three and a half. Three and a half is too much. Three. She's not gonna fit in there exactly. Let's start with three. And then let's do three on this side. One, two, three. Three here. And uh, one, two, three. be doing this in pencil. Just realized that as I was doing it, but maybe I can, I'll probably cover this with something. All right. Slice off your fingers. I'm not pressing down very hard. I'm just trying to go through a few pages. And I am wanting this kind of torn look, but it's a little too soon for it. So I'm just gonna keep tearing this out and I'm gonna try when I get down towards the bottom to have more of that. So I've got a ways to go still. I'm just gonna continue to cut here and here. Okay, 
So this is the perfect hat, but it really does sit up too tall. And then I'm like, huh, I wonder if my tin snips can take care of that. And lo and behold, it can cut through it. So that's a super sharp point on there, though. We need to make sure that's... That. And watch where they go on your desk. Of course, I don't want to run into that little sliver of metal. Let's see if that helps her sit down better. Well, it does help her sit down better. We need still a little bit more. Let's take off one more ruffle. Gonna glue that onto there for sure. I quit messing with it. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. That's cool. Okay. You know, it's interesting. This book here, it says, it's good to be on the mountain, body and soul get well there and life becomes happy again. So this is the page that is kind of this flip out. So I was going to, you know, I, I, I want to have some sort of door thing there, but uh, it's just not going to work. I do want to save those words, though, because that will go somewhere else. So, let's see. This is eight pages thick. I do want it to be kind of raw. Uh, let's see. I guess let's cut it out. Now, I'm still not completely giving up on the door thought. I'm just thinking of a different type of door. Which might or might not work. As I sit here and think about it, it's like, oh, that'd be good to have a piece of fabric in there. If I'm going to make this into a door. Okay. So, I think I've decided to cut that down. I should probably just cut it out. right through the signature. So, hmm. I'm gonna put some fabric down there. So I'm gonna figure out how to get this out of here. And then I'm gonna put some fabric down and then some base layer. And then we'll go from there. Okay, bye.